This day drops down upon the glories of summer. It is a glad day, in a tune with faith's fond trust. We live in an age of love's divine adventure to be all in all. Let me tell you a story where the details don't get gory. Die tribe with the vibe that make you feel high. Ha ha, just a little bit, make a meal a bit, feed the fantasy with reality. Since the age of 10, I've been living my dreams with the pad and the pen. The end. I think the greatest point of camp is self development. Everybody here can be exactly who they want to be and who they aspire to be. Yeah, it really helps you discover who you are and like how other people are and how other people actually truly want to be outside of the whole like, you know, peer pressure and what we have to impress and all that stuff. It's like you really get to see people for who they are. Camp is like moving in with a giant family. <laughs> it's just like one big family. It's just amazing. It's an amazing experience that nobody should miss out on. Put your hands in the air, hands in the air like yeah. Put your hands in the air, hands in the air like yeah. Put your hands in the air, hands in the air like yeah. Put your hands in the air, hands in the air like yeah. I'd call AU really fun yet challenging at some parts. Also, you get to be with your, you make friends and you get to be with them every day. Get to the top of the mountain, you feel closer to God because, to me, because you feel you felt an accomplishment, you feel like you conquered something with Him. I learned that no matter how hard the mountain is, you should just know that God is always with you and he'll keep you moving. Belford. Yeah, Mount Belford is 14,192 feet. It's hard to explain, it's just like staring right back at God. Freedom. It's really cool. It's like, like breathtaking. Whoa! Definitely the highest I've ever been. I don't know what who I would be. I would be someone totally different if I hadn't come to AU. Every day, you see so many different demonstrations that are so significant in you know in each person's life. Whatever we do, uh, whether it's you know here at camp, rafting and kayaking, or um, horseback riding or hiking or any number of things, all of that is part of our practice and uh, part of our prayer for the world. It really requires you to use it, to use Christian science in like your everyday life and everything that you do here, you use Christian science. And for this cause came I unto the world that I should bear witness unto the Lord, everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. And it's like whether you're, you know, on top of a mountain or you're going down a river or, you know, you're off horseback riding, mountain biking, whatever it is, it's like every second along the way you're always praying and there's always like that sense of Christian science there. It's a practical demonstration of God is love and love your neighbor and trials are proofs of God's care because all of those things happen here. You just have this great feeling of like such support like with Christian science and like you, you just have like all your friends boosting you up and everything. I don't know how strong a Christian scientist I'd be if I wasn't going to this camp, but like just coming back to you just like reaffirms like everything that you have known about your religion. The main highlight to um, camp, I think, would be alone with your thoughts. It just, it's when everybody takes, you know, about an hour to sit back and just be alone and think about stuff, mainly God. I just really loved that. It was a great experience just to be able to sit and talk with God. 
the counselors that I see, they, they just strive for the spiritual growth. Like they get up at 6.30 to have an inspirational in the morning and then they study till the campers get up at seven. And then they bring that message that they've been studying to their own um, spiritual lesson study with the kids. And I really feel like there's just that solid Christian science platform for the kids to see and experience. And that's why we keep coming every year. So when I'm interviewing staff members, one of the things that I ask them and I talk with them about is where they are with their practice of Christian science and if they're really ready to take their practice public. Because I feel like camp is that opportunity to really be a practitioner for the first time. That's one of the things that staff really learn, that at every level of their understanding of Christian science, they can be receptive to the practice to being there for a camper, for another counselor. They learn how to pray for all of camp and what does it mean to be embracing camp in your prayers daily, even when everything at camp is going smoothly, that their role in spiritually supporting that is crucial to the success of camp on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me play with you. Now I'm gonna say to you what it's like living life here at AU. The day begins at 7 a.m. with the bell ringing again and again and again till everyone's awake. Some people jump in the lake, some people got showers to take. So we're waking up, sitting up, getting up. Meanwhile, CIT are busy setting up for breakfast, which starts at 8.30, but that's later. Wait, now where were we? Oh yeah, zoom into a cabin. Slow down, stop, and watch what happens. You finish getting ready, you do, you do chores like cleaning the bathroom, sweeping the floors. Then when you're done, sit down with your buddies. Time to have fun doing lesson study. Read the lesson, read, read the lesson. And don't be afraid to ask questions. After lesson study, we raise the flag. And we share the inspiration that we have. We all stand, everybody gets on their feet. One cabin takes the lead. They get the flag up the pole and they guide the group as a whole. When we finish with the flag, breakfast begins. Say grace, pass the trays and dig in. You sit with your cabin, talk about where you're gonna go today and how you're gonna grow today. Okay, so you've eaten enough, you go to your program and do cool stuff. Wait, now where were we? Oh yeah, maybe the corral is where you go, doing the keyhole practice for the rodeo. Or maybe you spend your day rafting, paddling, listening, living, learning, and laughing. Or maybe you're a mountaineer, which is good, because there's a lot of mountains here. Hiking, climbing, walking and talking, through the ropes course and the rock gym. And some people find that they're liking the hiking, but they really love mountain biking. So they do it, and do it well. Biking on double track, single track trails. There's so much that we do. Peeking a mountain, or paddling a canoe. And we end it all with gratitude. That concludes another day at AU. You're doing things that you love to do and you have that love and that joy throughout that activity that you're doing. It's amazing, it actually. Like, I've never felt this much love from a group of people. They're just so loving and so ready to help and just so non-judgmental, it's great. You're teaching people how to, how to think like all the campers who come here have a new mentality after they leave because it's just so uplifting. The feeling here at camp, it's probably one of the best feelings you could get. It like boosts your, boost your spirit, makes you feel good. It's like, it's an awesome feeling. So to have a place where people can come and, and feel that sense of uniqueness and individuality as far as their relationship to God and, and how they complete that concept of God by their individuality, like, there's not much of that around, you know? But they can just be really free of, of those other things that, you know, materially or that the world's trying to sell kids these age. 
could totally be yourself. You don't have to hide anything. And everybody's so supportive. I get peace and quiet that I can just relax and express myself in the ways that I've always wanted to express, really. You can always be yourself around, yeah, around your friends. No, you don't have to, yeah. yeah. It's not like sometimes at school you might feel like you have to like act a certain way or something when you just really don't, them. but yeah, here just you just are like forces. yourself. I'm me. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> world. <laughs> <laughs> My first year at camp, I was in soccer, and we had to do the seven and a half mile run. And the first two miles after that, like I started really hitting a wall. And then my friend Liam started like singing the song Shepherd Show Me and that's my favorite hymn, but I hadn't told him that it was my favorite hymn, but like it really like meant so much to me when he started singing that and like I was able to like get past that wall and just like be able to run more and it was just such a great feeling to like have someone there to like just help me out. I, I every time I come back home. I look at pictures of camp, and I get and I get excited, so excited. I just cannot hold myself steady. I'm just so excited to come here. And I think that's life's true adventure: is taking all your experiences um, in some in a, in a place that's so loving and so uplifting, and using those throughout your whole life's adventure. And and when you leave AU and you go on to have new experiences and new adventures and new activities, taking what you learned here and using that to help uplift and support you throughout your whole life. All right, ready guys? Yeah. 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 This is all so crazy, nobody here is lazy. Tell me to live in a big kind of homesick, two of us pressure and a thermos. Chandler started playing with a nuke, and the mountain peak we're on, and the mountain peak we're on. So I put my pack on my head held high, my thoughts fly away. Not in my head like, yeah, hiking away like, yeah, got my head. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a party on Mount Belford. Yeah, it's a party on Mount Belford. Yeah, it's a party on Mount Belford. Yeah, it's a party on Mount Belford.